and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about lights on your e-bike or perhaps lack thereof as I'm riding into a pretty good wind I can feel a resistance so I wanted to talk about lights on this video because I believe they should be mandatory on all e-bikes when you purchase a e-bike I think they should be on there and the lights I'm referring to would be uh, a headlight a tail light a brake light and turn signals and you're starting to see more and more bikes coming with all of the lights but in some cases they don't I mean the usual ones you'll get are a headlight and a tail light sometimes they'll give you a brake light and very rarely although it's becoming more and more now that you get it uh, turn signals um, and I've talked about this in the past and I wanted to bring it up again because I still don't understand why they're not putting lights on all the bikes before you get it delivered to you. Um, because if we're going to, especially getting out on the road, if we're going to be on the road, even if we're in the bike lane, it's kind of nice to know that you have lights on there and can be seen whether you're braking, turning, or whatever. And also, I think uh, if they do put turn signals on the bike, like you'd see in the front, that they would have them by your headlight here on both sides. I wish they would do the same on the back, have separate uh, lights instead of integrated into the back tail light. I'd rather see them completely separate so they can be spaced apart and you can see them better. But um, most often they don't do that. And in some cases they don't give you rear turn signals. And I don't understand that either. I mean, if you're gonna put turn signals on the bike, don't the drivers in front as well as back need to know that you're turning? And I also think the brake light is important and uh, not all bikes have brake lights and a headlight should be on there whether you are riding at night or not because uh, there are a lot of people that do ride at night so let's get full lights on there you know we go through the whole thing of bikes having to be class one class two and class three depending on what state you're in for riding well let's go a little further and make sure they have the proper lighting and then I would even say we should have mirrors uh, on the bike and probably two mirrors uh, really so you can see both sides and the other thing that if you're going all the way in with uh, needs for a bike I think a, a bell is probably the best for a uh, shared trail or path that is shared with pedestrians because you don't want to blow their ears off uh, if you had a horn but I think a horn on the road would be the best and I gotta tell you in a lot of instances if you are riding on a bike path though and even if you have a bell and you ring your bell I gotta say more times than not it seems to me anyway that folks have their earbuds in and they're listening to music or radio or whatever and they can't hear anyway so I don't know I don't know what you do uh, about that kind of uh, situation I would definitely not want to be riding my bike uh, with headphones or earbuds in listening to music because I need to be able to hear what's going on around me you know, I, I like to hear what's happening.
But those are a few things in the, uh, that I'd like to see uh, mandatory on bikes. And some, some of you may be saying, well, why can't you just use hand signals? Well, you can, but I prefer two hands on my uh, handlebars and Because, okay, for example, on this bike here, I'm on the Lyric Graffiti, I have the thumb throttle, which I'm throttling right now, the bike, is on the right-hand side here, and on my left right here, that's the brake, that's regen braking right there, and I use that all the time. Very rarely do I pull the uh, levers, and when I do, that's to make a quicker stop if I have to stop more suddenly, because the regen braking will not stop as sudden as the uh, the uh, brakes will the, the uh... but uh so if you're using your hands and you're turning for example or whatever how can you have one hand off you're supposed to have two hands on at all times well i think it's just the way to go is to put turn signals on bikes and make them uh, visible so you can actually see them. Don't hide them integrated into a, a tail light or anything. Just have them completely visible like on a motorcycle. And if people say that, oh, that's, you're going to be making it too, look too much or be too much like a motorcycle, well, whatever. If you want safety, then uh, who cares whether it looks like a motorcycle or not. If you want safety, let's go with safety. That's the way I look at it. And I'd be curious to know in the comments how you feel about that. Would you like to see lights mandatory on all bikes? So when you make a purchase for a bike, you know that all the lights are going to be on there. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And also, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.